Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and this is part two of the Live Aquaria Bright Fiji Acro Pack. So my wife and I called about these this morning. If you saw the video yesterday, you saw that I ordered three acros for the Bright Fiji Acro Pack, expecting to get three really nice looking corals that were three to four inches. And I got three little corals that are pretty ugly and they're brown. And you can see the one on the left is really bleached out and they look really bad. So we called Live Aquaria, we talked to them. They said we had to send them pictures. So we did that and I even went one step further and I put a ruler on there so you could see how big the coral was in relation to something. So I sent that in and they said after you send the email, wait 30 minutes, call us and we'll come up with some sort of a resolution. So I, we called back and we talked to them and they said that brown's not a problem and they stress out. Well, it's true, but to be honest, I've had hundreds of corals at this point and I've never had one come in this brown that looked nice to begin with. And I've never had had anything brown this fast in a 24 hour period. So they had to look pretty close to this in my opinion when they picked them from their tank. And the sizes are way too small. But I was trying to be nice when I put the ruler on there and Live Aquaria said that I was measuring wrong. Apparently on Acros at Live Aquaria, their measurement is top to bottom, including the piece of Live Rock. My guess is if you have an eight inch piece of live rock and you put a one inch frag on it, it's an eight inch piece of coral, right? It's amazing how you can turn coral into live rock or vice versa. But anyways, that's the way they're thinking on it. So anyways, the lady on the phone was very confrontational about it and it was not a good experience. We asked to talk to a supervisor. There apparently it was only one supervisor on the phone on the floor. We couldn't talk to that supervisor. She went and talked to whoever their coral expert is, and he wanted to credit us the full amount of the one you see on the left, which um, is fine, but um, the other two little guys are still brown and ugly and tiny and not near what I was expecting for the money I paid. So I told her that wasn't good enough. Um, they, She talked to her coral expert again, Finally, she came back and said, okay, what can we do for you? What would make you happy? And I just said, I want a full refund for all three. And they did agree to that. But I'm frustrated because I got three really ugly corals in the mail. Um, and it shouldn't be a fight when you deal with a company like this. So I hate to say it, I probably will not be dealing with Live Aquaria when it comes to coral anymore. The two fish they sent me are really good. I got a really old grama and a high fin goby. Both look great. Both are doing great. But the coral, I mean, the bird's nest is tiny. The acros are just crap. So I can't recommend their acro pack to anybody. And to be honest, if it's not a what you see is what you get picture, I would not buy a coral from Live Aquaria again, personally. So anyways... That's my story for what happened today. I hate putting videos out that are not exactly positive and fun, but I guess in this hobby you got to show both sides of what happened. So, thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. I guess it is a good thing I got my money back, but again, thank you.